Happy Friday, everybody. You already know what it is. Thank God it's Friday. I got to be to work early, but you know what it is. It's basketball tonight. It's nothing like a night when Raptors play. It's going to be it's, it's going to be a movie tonight. Scotty is back. Scotty is back. He's available to play tonight. You know he's only going to play limited minutes, but we get to see him lead this young squad tonight, and let's see what it looked like. Congratulations to Scotty on, you know, fatherhood. Welcome to the club. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of worry. It's a lot of responsibility. You know what I mean? It's bigger than you now. You know what I mean? Pause. Life, life is bigger than you. It's more than just the shiny things and the, you know, the fantasies. It's about the reality of your role model now for somebody who, who's definitely going to imitate what you do. And kids don't listen to us. They don't listen. They imitate what you show them. So just remember that. But uh, salute to salute to Scotty for um, you know, and be, becoming a young father. You know what I mean? He's financially able to do it. So he's he's gonna have a smoother road. Great family structure, great family support system. He's gonna be fine. Um, but tonight is basketball. We got the Wizards again. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, listen, if we go play somebody back to back, let it be the Bullet Wizards. Let's do that again. <laughs> let's stack up the let let's let's listen. Let's stuff the stat sheets. <laughs> Get these wins. You know what I mean? Sixty percent of the league is sub five hundred teams or barely sub five barely five hundred teams. So we could that's a plate for us. We gotta eat that. You know what I mean? We gotta come in hungry for those. Those is plates. They just handing us that. We could get forty wins just off of them alone. You know what I mean? But we we beat the brakes off them last time. We beat their ass last time. <laughs> we gave them that work. We beat their ass so bad they got they gave them two losses for that game. We got busy. You know what I'm saying? And I know I know they gonna come in a little salty. You know, on Scotty's return, first time playing with this new crew. You know, they're going to come in a little salty with a little animosity. So, Scotty is coming in at an interesting time because we already beat the brakes off of them. So, they got to, they in their feelings. They definitely don't want, it's going to feel like a regular season varsity game against them. It ain't like we playing against Boston or Philly or, you know what I mean, New York or Miami. It's not going to feel like Orlando. You know what I mean? It's not, and shout out to Florida. I hope everything is well. You know, Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, St. Pete, Miami. You know what I mean? It's it's tough. I, I was in Florida during those during hurricane season. It's tough. It's tough. So I hope everybody you know recovers and gets the money they deserve to to continue on with their life the way they're accustomed to having. You know that magnificent way of life when the sun is shining and the beach is beautiful and the people are you know everything is glistening. <laughs> I hope everything gets back to normal. It will. You know what I mean? They're very resilient. But um, it ain't, it's not going to be like when we play against the tougher teams. But it's going to feel like a regular season varsity game. It's going Because they're going to want to win. You know what I mean? They they in their feelings. We did them dirty last time. So they're going to come and play and treat it like an NCAA first round game. They're looking for their one shining moment. You know what I mean? They're they going to take us serious. But, and I want to see how we respond to that. You know what I mean? I want But Scotty is walking into that. You know what I mean? RJ did him dirty. <laughs> I thought if, if this was a regular season game, he had 10 in the first quarter. He had 17 points and 14. He could have went for a good 44, 45. You know what I mean? This would have been definitely a 40-plus night against them. They would have definitely got punished. And the way our bench was playing, they probably would have scored 100 points and had fucking 45 rebounds and 25 assists. You know, they end the game with a ridiculous, our bench end the game with a ridiculous 86 points, 32 rebounds, 19 assists as a collective group. I'm saying if you can just get us Giannis numbers, if you can get us all-star, all-NBA numbers, 32 points, about 12 rebounds, 6 assists as a collective group, we in the building. We don't need to start hunting for some type of save. We got a crew. It's nothing like having guys who know how to play. There's no substitute. No matter who you go and get as far as a franchise player or an your ancillary players have to be able to hold their own. That's it. Your supporting cast is the most important thing you're going to have going into the future of the NBA. So no matter how great your star is and how socially accepted they are and how relevant they are socially, if he doesn't have the adequate support system in his teammates and the, and the game plan and the structure and the system, you're only going but so far. Because one man is, lim you're going to be limited to his performances, and he's the only one that's going to reap the benefits while you get the blame. 
So I like the fact that we got a bench that really got to it. Shout out to Darko and the coaching staff. You know what I mean? But we coming into a game where, you know, the Wizards remember us putting 125 on them. <laughs> Scoring 69 points in the second half. Oh, they remember the 93 shots and 54%. Shooting from the field, 15 threes, 51 rebounds, 62 points in the paint, and 39 assists. And it ain't even Christmas. <laughs> And 25 fast break, what, 22 fast break points? We was doing that. We were doing everything we wanted to do. It was 2K on rookie, just the way I like to play it. I don't play all that Hall of Fame y'all be playing on. Y'all look ridiculous. I want it to be like real life. I can tell you never played basketball. You want every game, if you're a hooper and you really played, you don't want it to be like work when you fucking playing a video game. You want a video game to feel like a video game. What's the cheat code is always my question. But um, we back in business. You know what I mean? Shout out, shout out to shout out to Scotty. I want to see how it plays out. I want to see what we look like tonight. Because the Wizards are gonna want to win. You know what I mean? And they're gonna take it serious. You know what I mean? And we're gonna have to, we're gonna see how the young guys respond to that. That's what I want to see. You know what I mean? We smoked them in the first quarter and it's over again. Then we we see all we need. We getting all we need to know then. But I want to see how they react to this, this pressure. Because I think the Wizards are going to take us serious. And our young crew need to see what it's like to play against a team that deliberately wants to get you up out of here after you dissed out an ass whooping. You know what I mean? So this is going to be a good opportunity for our young guys. A good, you know, a good opportunity for Scotty to get his feet wet a little bit. You know what I mean? To start getting, the, you know, into that mode of operation. And, and and lock in on the fact that you know he got he got a little bit more pressure, a little bit more weight on his shoulders than he did last year. But I'm, I'm interested. I want to see what the game plan looks like. I want to see what I want to see if the fundamentals from the first game are are are, are a part of the second game. Because you know sometimes they change the game plan as far as anticipating what the other team is going to do. I just want to see if certain things that we saw in that first game remain consistent in the second one. So we can get a better feel of what we're going to be getting in the regular season as far as the game plan and what type of theory they're going to be playing under and what type of philosophy they're going to be playing under. You know what I mean? So second game is important. Second game is important. I want to see what the production looks like too. You know what I mean? Because it's not going it's not going to go like it went the first game. I think it's going to be a lot more serious. It's going to be a little tougher. They, they may be a little more physical, even though it's a preseason game, but they, they know they can't take us lightly because we'll get them up out of there. So I think there's going to be a different intention in this game and another and a different attention to detail. I don't think Jordan Poole is going to be pulling from half court, you know, trying. You know what I mean? It's going to be a <laughs> they're, they're going to there's going to be certain realities that that they're going to play within. You know what I mean? They they they're not going to get too cute with it because they know this could be a disaster. It could be a massacre if they if they allow it, you know, to be that way. So I think they're going to be a little more conservative. It's going to be a little more uh, aggressive. And, and and there's gonna be an attention to to winning, cause we, I, I just want to see how guys react to the fact that the same team that you beat the brakes off of, they're looking forward to seeing you again and returning the favor. So we just got to see. I want to see how guys work within that construct, and I want to see how Scotty is able to, you know, fit into it, even though he's walking into a heated conversation. You know what I mean? It, it's it, it was lukewarm a couple days ago. I think it's a little it's a little hotter, a little hotter. You know what I mean? I think it's a little hotter. Because, you know, RJ got in and got out. Hopefully, Scotty can get in and get out. And we we run the, you know, we run the rest of the way and get them up out of here. You know what I mean? So, let's see what happens. Tell me what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Yeah, I'm interested, man. It's, it's going to be fun tonight, man. It's good to see Scotty back. It's good to see us back in motion. We're starting to get closer to the season. It's starting to feel like what it's supposed to feel like after this long drought of basketball for us. But I'm out of here. Peace.